Hi, this is Pavel with a C Sharp exercise from Visual C Sharp 2012 How to Program, uh, Chapter 17, Exercise 3. We are going to work with uh, external text files. We are going to create a pro program that creates that stores student grades in a text file. The file should contain the name, ID number, class taken, and grade of every student. Allow the user to load a grade file and display its contents in a read-only text box and the entries should be displayed in the format of last name, first name, ID, class and grade. So this is gonna be qu quite quick. Uh, I already created the form, here's the text box, uh, but first uh, I created the grades.txt uh, and I placed it into my uh, debug folder. It doesn't really matter where you place it, we'll link it externally. The I entered few names. This is just the the same uh, initial data they provided in the book. I just copied it. Um, so I got three names. Each has an ID, uh, a class, and a grade at the end. This is the format that they provided. Uh, so um, as for the text box, I did a, a simple text box, but since we they wanted text box. Normally, I would use a list box since there's going to be multiple uh, lines. But uh, so, uh, in order to make the text box work, I simply uh, well, I made it read only like they wanted us to do, and I uh, changed multi line to true since there's going to be multiple lines, and uh, I added uh, vertical scroll bars uh, so uh, that way, you know. If you had more names, you would be able to you would be able to scroll. So um, yeah, that's about all as for the for the form. Uh, here's the scroll bars. Uh, you know you could have none by default, but I changed it to vertical. So all we have to do now uh, is, according to the f uh, text of the assignment, to load the content of the file into the uh, uh, text box line by line. All right, so uh, that's fairly simple. We go to form load, and first I'm going to define the path to the uh, to our file. So I'll just call it file path, and I'll go to solutions, and it will equal to. And I'll just drop this right in there. So I don't have to copy paste it or anything that it will create the path. Of course it has to be in quotes since it's a string. Semicolon at the end and I'll put quotes here. Now in this, since this is a string with slashes, we would need to do a double slash to kind of escape uh, as an escape character or preferred method in this case would be to pre put a, an add sign. And that will, this is now a literal string, it will not, uh, we, we will need the escape characters to keep the slashes correct. So, uh, what we, now we simply display the file, so, but we'll only display it if it exists. So if our file that uh, exists and the path to file is uh, the file path, that, that's the variable that we store the path in. So if this exists, then we will display it. Now, by the way, I, I forgot to mention that in order to use the, the file, the file uh, class, we need to uh, use the using system IO, otherwise to have access to all these input output uh, methods. Okay, so now if the file exists, what do we do? Well, we create a stream reader that will read the uh, uh, the text file. So we'll create an object called stream, and it will equal to the new stream reader. And uh, in, uh, inside we will pass, as it asks, we will pass the stream, the stream to be read, and the stream is again the file path. So now we store the content of the file into our stream object, so now we can output it into our text box. And 
that's fairly simple. We'll simply do the TXT, right? I named it the text box TXT grades, and we will append uh, append the oops, we will append the text. What this will do, it says append text to current text of the text box, because again it will read it line by line and it will append it each entry, each line on a separate line in the text box. And we will do that. What's uh, what are we reading? Uh, it's asking for the text to read, and it's now being stored in the uh, object stream. And uh, how many lines? Well, until we encounter the end of the stream. So until the read to end. So again, we created a stream uh, reader object that stores the content of the file and then we will append each line at a time into our text box until we encounter the end of the file and that's that so uh, but we can also do this is if the file exists so we can do else if the file doesn't does not exist we can display simply a message box uh, I don't know. We, could, we could throw an error or something but we can do it just this way uh, there was a problem loading the file and that should be really all so let's uh let's try and run it and I have the form here and you can see here's my great text text files John's Bob Johnson Sarah Smith Sam so and that's what we have John's Bob, this is the ID, this is the course, and this is the grade. Again, this is the last name, first name, ID, course, and the grade for all the uh, entries in our file. And uh, if the file doesn't exist, so let's say I just change the path uh, to an invalid path. If I do that, it will pop up, oh, there was a problem loading the file. And it will load just the empty empty form but it won't crash that's the whole point we don't want to crash it so again if I run it now with the correct path here it is it loads all the data one line at a time so that's all that's uh, like I said it's gonna be quite short uh, it was simple um, I hope it was helpful I'll see you next time take care